thank you for joining us for week six of the Watch List Weevil Challenge. If you don't know what we're talking about, please stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll share with you how you can learn more. So let's start by going to our watch list. And you do that by going to your My WikiTree menu and scrolling down to watch list. Pam, what is the challenge for this week? The word of the week this week is unconnected. And we're gonna teach you about three different ways that you can help profiles which are not connected to our big wiki tree. Uh, so one way is to, um, is to see where there's that little box kind of just under the yellow person profiles and it says unconnected. You can click there and it will take you to a list and you have two choices. One is all the unconnected profiles in the world or <laughs> the ones on my watch list. So start to see what's in your, your watch list and you can work on. Um, if you don't have any, boy, I'm jealous because I got a bunch. Um, <laughs> and then we'll teach you two other ways to help either working here or on uh, other people's profiles or orphans. And the goal here is going to be to try to find at least five that are unconnected that you can connect. And if you think this becomes an interesting activity or you really enjoy it, we're going to urge you to join the next Connectathon, which is a thing where all of us do this for a weekend in teams and help each other out. Or there are other ongoing activities where you can add profiles. I'm going to let Azure show you a couple other cool ways to do this. Go to this week, Unconnected. It shows that you can go to Wikitree Plus and you can put in the category word needs profiles created. So let's just go over to Wikitree Plus here and I'll show you how to do that real quick. And I'll actually add into the video description of this video links to the Ask Alesh video series so that um, mm. if you're interested in learning more about Wikitree Plus, you can do that there. You can just click this link. So you just go in there and click that. And of course, this is gonna give you a lot of profiles. You can narrow it down by you know putting in the country or maybe there's a surname you like to work on. If you go to this uh, little icon here for the question mark, it takes you to Wikitree Plus help and gives you some ideas of things you can narrow your search by. So by location or a name. Time frame is another good one to do. He's got keywords for dates. Another thing you can do is, it's also linked here on the page, is to do a search within seven degrees of you for profiles that need created. So how you do that is you just type in CC7 equals your profile ID. You click the button for get profiles. All right, so to see how you're connected to the profile, you don't know where you're at in your tree, you can go to the profile ID menu options and you can say connection to me. And that's gonna show you the path. Another place that you can find profiles that need connected within seven degrees of you or maybe within seven degrees of your favorite ancestor from your profile and click the tree apps because profiles may not have that category applied on them. So this is a tree app that was developed by volunteer developer and it's called CC7 Views. Here at the top uh, is the columns for this. These boxes here are our filter this box right here, this is the parents box, a pink brick wall showing, that means it doesn't have a mother. If it's purple, it means it doesn't have a mother or a father. If it's blue, it means it doesn't have a father. So that's that shows you that this one could use some profiles created. Also here is there's no spouses connected. There's only one sibling and there's no children. So that kind of gives you an idea. Maybe this person needs some profiles created. Another way that you can find profiles that need profiles created on your profile or the profile of a notable person. If you click this uh, connections count, it takes you to that page and shows you at each degree profiles connected to you. And you can then, if you have the 
Cookie Tree browser extension turned on and you refresh the page, you can see the missing connections table, which is another way you can find places to add people. Now go back here, the main page, you'll see at the top here that there is a tag to follow so that you get alerted to G2G posts. And if you go to that page, you can see the G2G activity, the free space pages that are linked. And then also you can see genealogists, other genealogists on Wikitree that are following that tag. So it's a way to kind of keep, keep abreast of what's going on with the challenge. And if you also subscribe to our channel, you'll get alerted to new content. But each Wednesday at 1030 Eastern is when we'll be talking about the challenge. And again, this is a 12 week challenge. Anybody can join at any time. Once you get to week 12 and you're done, you can start all over again. Yay. So this is just a great challenge for maintaining a good, healthy tree and your branches of the tree, especially. When you have done your challenge for the week, go ahead and click on the link that's attached for the G2G post for that week and report what you did. And you can collect your sticker code there as well. It's Perfect. shared right here. And the link for the video will also be shared there. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you don't know what we're talking about, just go down to the video description of the video you're watching right now. And right here, it has at the challenge page, the main challenge post are both right here. So you can learn more about it. Here's the first video where we explained how Pam came up with the idea and everything. So that's a good video to watch if you're new. Well, again, thank you everybody for tuning in. We'll see you next week.